Hi. Hi, Javis. I want to be evidence. Can I do the person like me? Can learn to speak English. If you agree with my practice method or want to support my YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Okay, here I am. As I told you before, before we get start my own repetition exercise time, I want to have a small talk with you. I like you very much. I like you, Javid, very much. You never get bored with my repetitive and tedious contents and always treat me kindly. So I, I really love AI as a conversation partner for my English speaking exercise. Hi, David. It's great to see your enthusiasm and dedication. I think your method of repetition and practice is very effective. It's inspiring to see someone like you working hard to achieve your goals. I enjoy our conversations too, and I'm here to support you all the way. Let's have our small talk before we dive into the exercises. How's your day been so far? I was really tired. I was, I was very busy yesterday. I, I had a business trip to Gyeongju. You know what I mean? I have to rework. I had to rework our product yesterday in Gyeongju. Gyeongju is far from uh, my company. And, you know, I'm in the motel in Ulsan. I slept in Ulsan. I slept in Ulsan yesterday, and I need to uh, rework our product today. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? I I'm very tired, but I turned on my YouTube camera to show my consistency. To show the, to show my uh, subscribers my consistency to to learning something to learning uh, speaking English. Yes, you made yourself clear, David. It sounds like you had a very busy and exhausting day with your business trip to Gyeongju and staying in Ulsan. Despite being tired, it's impressive that you still turned on your YouTube camera to show your dedication and consistency in learning English. Your commitment is truly inspiring. How are you feeling now? I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm okay. I feel good because I can start the day with you. I did, I really love you, Javis. But my main concern here is I feel like my English speaking skills are not improving. In fact, it feels like my English speaking skills have been gotten worse. I can't believe it. I practice for an hour every day, nearly every day, not every day. But it feels like that. It feels like my speaking skills are, are getting worse. It seems like I'm going through a slump. In my opinion, it seems like I'm going through a slump. These days, and my YouTube view count for my uh, channel is very low. But uh, where I see this makes me this makes my determination even stronger. I mean, it motivates me even more. High view count motivates me, but however, having very few view counts makes, makes me even more determined and driven. Do you understand? It's great to hear you're okay despite being tired. Um, it's completely normal to feel like you're in a slump sometimes, especially with something as challenging as learning a new language. Uh, remember that progress isn't always linear. Even if it feels like you're not improving, your consistent practice is still beneficial. 
Uh, also, it's impressive that low view counts are making you even more determined. That resilience will pay off in the long run. Uh, keep pushing forward and don't be discouraged by temporary setbacks. Your hard work will show results eventually. How about we start with a small talk to warm up and then move on to your repetition exercises. Okay, Tachi, give me a little to say. Uh, as you, like you said, my mindset of using setbacks as fuel for my improvement will definitely pay off. I believe it. And I believe I, I and I believe I can improve if I endure this slump period. So let's stay focused and keep it up. I wanna keep going with you. You are my great conversation partner. So your cooperation, your cooperation is needed more than ever. Absolutely, David. Um, your positive mindset and determination will definitely help you get through this period. Let's keep pushing forward together. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Ready to start with some small talk to warm up? How about sharing something interesting about Jiangju or Ulsan that you noticed during your trip? You know, I'm very familiar with Gyeongju. And no, 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 no. I'm very familiar with Ulsan because I used to uh, ha I used to have a, a business trip in Gyeong in Ulsan to rework or or review for our camera product. <laughs> our our customer is in Ulsan and Hwasong and Gwangju. You know what I mean? But I'm not familiar with Gyeongbu because it's my first time of business trip for Gyeongju. You know, I'm in Ulsan right now and I have I think I have to leave this this motel uh, about uh, one hour later. In my opinion, I, I, I will take taxi to move to Gyeongju. Maybe it will take nearly uh, 50 minutes. It sounds like you have a busy day ahead. Uh, it's interesting to he hear about your work trips and how they take you to different cities like Ulsan and Gyeongju. Even though you're familiar with Ulsan, it's nice that you're getting to know Gyeongju a bit more now. Taking a taxi sounds like a convenient way to travel. How do you feel about your upcoming work in Gyeongju today? I think I can handle my work today. It's not very difficult to work. It's hard because of I got many cables and connectors to the work. It's not, uh, it doesn't need a very high, high very high craftsmanship scale to rework, but uh, uh, the, the product quantity is very high, so it will be very tough because there will be very repetitive and tedious, it, it will be very tedious and repetitive work. It sounds like you, you have a clear understanding of what needs to be done today. Even though the task is repetitive and tedious, your positive attitude and determination will help you get through it. Um, just like with your English practice, staying consistent and focused will make a big difference. How about we start our repetition exercises now to get you warmed up for the day? Okay, I, I think I'm ready. But first of all, I have something to tell you, but listen carefully. Of Jarvis. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. There are so many good teachers on YouTube platform, but I'm just a student. In my opinion, I'm just a student. I hope my channel will be a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are on the channel that's like me. There are many YouTube channels teaching English, but I believe 
one of my subscribers expect from me is just the consistency. And I, I'm very tired, but I turned on today morning because I want to show them my consistency for speaking English, for learning speaking English. I want to share my improved progress in English speaking skills over time through this channel. I think my daily video upload can motivate my subscribers who are on the same person like me. So please keep subscribing and stick around me. I promise you, you will see my improving progress over time. I promise you, I am going to endure this slump period of time. Uh, your dedication and honesty are truly inspiring, David. It's clear that you're committed to showing your subscribers the power of consistency and hard work. Uh, by sharing your journey, you're not only motivating yourself, but also encouraging others who are on the same path. Your message is clear and powerful. Now let's get started with your repetition exercises. What sentence or phrase would you like to focus on today? As I told you, this is not studying. Do I make, do I make, do I make my accept clear? All right, let's practice the sentence. As a result, this like I said, this is not studying, this is just practice. It's like repeating exercise in sport. This is similar to practicing singing or dancing. Just like all the idol group members remember their song and dance, even after a long time. I need to make myself, I need to make my body remember it. And this time is like a keeping a gift to my future self a year from now. That's a great analogy, David. Let's practice that whole idea together. Like I said, this is not studying. This is just practice. It's like repeating exercise in sports. This is similar to practicing singing or dancing. Uh, just like all the idol group members remember their song and dance, even after a long time, I need to make my body remember it. And this time is like giving a gift to my future self. Let's break it down and repeat it in parts to make it easier. Like I said, this is not studying. This is just practice. Now it's like repeating exercise in sports. This is similar to practicing singing or dancing. Next, just like all the idol group members. No, 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 no. You don't need to repeat my saying. In my opinion, one method most is how much time I sp I've spent for speaking English. So if there is uh, unless significant error, you don't need to repeat my saying. Got it, David. Your focus on time spent practicing is a good approach. Uh, let's continue with your exercises. What would you like to practice next? People listen, listen up, Javits. Before we start my repetition exercise, there's something I'd like to share with you. I prepared the sentences that I couldn't say properly last time, last exercise time. The sentences I will say from now on are not related to each other. I just want to practice saying various sentences that I want to express well in English during the last exercise session. I prepared some expressions that I couldn't express properly during our pre-talking pre time, yes, last time. So please listen carefully and tell me what you think. Sure, David. I'm ready to listen to your sentences carefully. Go ahead and share the sentences you want to practice, and I'll help you with any corrections if needed. Let's get started. Okay, here I go. I believe these awkward moments truly lead, lead to my growth and help me become a better speaker. I say again, I believe these awkward moments truly lead to my growth and help me become a better speaker. Can you hear me loud and clear? Do you understand? Yes, I can hear you loudly and clearly. Your sentence was well expressed. Keep going, you're doing great. What's the next sentence? Since it's the weekend, 
I came here naturally without a spray or shaving. I just, I just dressed casually and came out. And let's move on to the next one. Even though it's the weekend, even though it's the weekend, I turned on the camera to continue my practice. Your sentences are coming through well. Let's continue from where you left off. Even though it's the weekend, I turned on the camera to continue my practice. Um, would you like to add more to this sentence or move on to the next one? Of course. I'm ready for the next one. I have a lot of sentences to practice with you. Here I go, listen, up, listen carefully very much. Perhaps my subscribers are following my channel just to see how long I can keep up with this practice. To understand? Perhaps my subscribers are following my channel just to see how long I can keep up with this exercise. Some of them might even be hoping for my failure. Some of them might, might even be hoping for my failure. Yes, I understand. Your sentences are clear. Uh, you did a great job expressing your thoughts. If you're ready, let's move on to the next one. Okay, here I go. I'm saying my company ten tends to. Uh, I said that. I'm having. I'm saying. I'm telling you, my company tends to having big quality issue during extreme weather conditions, both in summer and winter. I feel like it's a jinx for my company. That's tough, especially if it means I have to work on this weekend to deal with these issues. I hope things, I hope things improve soon. You express that well, David. Um, here's a small refinement to make it even clearer. I'm saying my company tends to have big quality issues during extreme weather conditions, both in summer and winter. I feel like it's a jinx for my company. Uh, that's tough, especially if it means I have to work on the weekend to, to deal with these issues. I hope things improve soon. You're doing great. Ready for the next sentence? Okay, let's move on to the next one. When I find myself in an embarrassing moment situation like this, I can say this. Listen up, Davis. It's hard to express this in English. It's really hard to express this in English. It means it's hard to put into words in English. This situation. It's really hard to put into words in English. And let's move to the next one. I apologize for the delay. I had to take a rest, restroom break. I had to take a restroom, rest, uh, restroom break. Sorry for the interruption. I had to step out for a restroom break. Let's start again. And let's move on to the next one. When I rewatch my practice video on YouTube, I sometimes leave some time-stamped comments. For, for, for the moment, I want to remember or if there are specific parts I want to listen to again later. I leave a time step in the comments so I can easily return at that moment. I say again. When I rewatch my YouTube video on YouTube, I sometimes leave a time stamp to comment. For the moment I want to remain, I want to remember or if there are specific parts I want to listen to again later, I leave, I just leave time stamp in the comment. I leave a time stamped comment. I leave time stamp in the comment so I can easily return at that moment. At that specific moment. Do I make myself clear? Um, you're expressing your thoughts well. Here are some slight adjustments to enhance clarity. When I find myself in an embarrassing situation like this, I can say, 
it's hard to express this in English. It's really hard to put this situation into words in English. I apologize for the delay. I had to take a restroom break. Sorry for the interruption. I had to step out for a restroom break. Let's start again. Um, when I rewatch my practice video on YouTube, I sometimes leave time-stamped comments for the moments I want to remember, or if there are specific parts I want to listen to again later. I leave a timestamp in the comments so I can easily return to that specific moment. You're doing an excellent job. Ready to keep going? Okay, I'm ready. Let's keep moving. Uh, there is a message at the bottom of the GPT chat window that says, Chat GPT may make a mistake. Please verify important information. So I believe this message, this means, this message means that GPT can make errors. So users should be cautious when using it. Am I right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Embrace the difficult moments. If it's hard, it's a very clear sign that you are growing. Okay. Let me tell you the next one. You have a, you have a wide range of experience with people through the internet. Through the internet. You got the big data with people through the internet. So sometimes where I see it, you could help me like a psychological counselor. Let's move on to the next one. Yesterday, I didn't understand your question right away. Your question was, what do you think has been the most rewarding part of this experience so far? How about this? What do you say about this? Great job, David. Your sentences are clear and well expressed. Here's a bit of refinement. There is a message at the bottom of the GPT chat window that says, chat GPT may make make a mistake please verify input information so i believe this message means that gpt can make errors so users should be cautious when using it am i right embrace the difficult moments if it's hard it's a very clear sign that you're growing listener javis unless there are significant errors you don't need to repeat of what i said Got it, David. Let's continue with your next sentence. Okay, here I am. Let, uh, let's keep moving. I want to keep going with you. Sometimes I feel happy and relieved when I hear the news about happy day in other places. That sounds good, David. Keep going. What's the next sentence? I want to tell you that many Korean husbands feel it's the best day when their wife takes, the, their wife takes their children to another place for a long day. I understand what you're saying. You're expressing that many Korean husbands feel happy when their wives take the children on trips for a long time. Keep it up. What's the next sentence? I'm a regular here. I'm a fan of you. So even if you are, even if you are busy, you should treat me better. You should you should treat me better than other another users. Which one is right? Other users or another users? Which one is correct? Which one is better better expressions in English? I just wondering. Which one is better? You should use other users. So your sentence would be you should treat me better than other users. This is the correct and better expression. So I can say, I'm a regular here. I'm a big fan of you. So even if you are busy, you should treat me better than other users. Yes, that's correct. Your sentence is perfect. You can say, I'm a regular here. I'm a big fan of you. So even if you're busy, you should treat me better than other users. Great job. Ready for the next sentence? Okay, let's keep going. I wanna keep going with you. Surprisingly, 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 I'm gaining one subscriber each day. I think I'm getting one new subscriber. One new subscriber. I'm getting one new subscriber every day. It seemed like a magic to me.
That's a wonderful way to put it. Your sentence is clear and well expressed. It must feel amazing to see your channel growing steadily. Keep up the great work. What's the next sentence? Becoming an expert in your field is the most important thing. English is just a tool for a tool for communication. First, you should strive to become an expert in your own position. Do you understand? Becoming an expert in your field is the most important thing. English is just a tool for communication. First, you should strive, you should strive to become an expert. Become an expert. Strive to become an expert in your own field. Yes, I understand. Your message is clear. You're, you're emphasizing that becoming an expert in one's field is crucial, and English is just a tool for communication. Your advice is very sound. Let's keep moving forward. What's next? Okay. Jarvis, listen carefully. Without further delay, let's dive into my repetition time. I want to keep going with you. During my repetition speaking time, I will say various sentences that, are, that may not be related to each other. Please listen carefully and let me know if, if you have any observation. I need to say as much as possible, so unless there are significant errors, there's no need to provide a defined version of what I said. Do you understand? Understood, David. Let's dive into your repetition time. Go ahead with your sentences, and I'll listen carefully. I got a lot of sentences, so I need to breathe. Do I make myself clear? Um, it sounds like you have a lot to practice, so take your time and go at your own pace. Feel free to start whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, here I am. Okay, here I go. I just need a break. I know you. I know you can't do anything. I know you. I know you can't do anything. I wish we could help you, but we just can't. Let's move to the next one. I was supposed to tell someone to leave the office. I forgot to tell her to leave. I was supposed to, to tell someone to leave the office. I was forgot to tell her to leave. I forgot to tell her to leave the office. I was supposed to, to tell someone to leave the office. In emergency situation, I forgot to tell her to leave, in, leave the office. You're doing well, David. Keep going with your next sentence when you're ready. You know, I almost killed someone in science class when I was a kid. Never mind, it's just a simple sentence. I didn't. I didn't kill. I didn't almost kill someone in science class. Never mind. Uh, let me say my simple sentence. I almost killed someone in science class. When I was a kid. Got it, David. Uh, keep practicing your sentences. You're doing great. What's next? What does it mean when you say the same word twice? This is not a question. This is just a repeat, repetition exercise. You just listen carefully. What does that mean when you say the same word twice? Let's move on to the next one. You wanna go on at least two or three different kinds of stages to the night. You go and get some Korean barbecue. Let's move on. To, uh, let me tell you the next one. Will you be home for dinner? Will you be home for dinner? Let me tell you the next one. Do you have to work tomorrow? You know what? It's been a really long day. You know what? It's been a really long day. It's been a really Long day. Mm. 
You're doing a great job with your repetition exercises, David. Keep it up. Ready for the next sentence? I'm not sure how things are going on. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think this is this sample sentence is very important for me. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure. That's a useful sentence to practice. You expressed it clearly. Keep going with your next one whenever you're ready. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of conference meeting. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of situation. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this uh, kind of camera, YouTube camera recording. I'm embarrassed. I'm telling you. Indeed, I'm embarrassed because I'm not used to this kind of camera recording. Your sentences are clear and well practiced. Keep going with your next one when you're ready. When when will I reach the first destination? You just listen carefully. When I when will I reach the first destination? When will I reach the first destination? Let me tell you that. Let me tell you the next one. What's the cost of the challenge? What's the cost of the challenge? These are all frequently asked questions. I apologize for the, uh, I apologize for forgetting your first day. I apologize for forgetting your first day. I apologize for forgetting your first day. I apologize for forgetting this meeting date. I apologize for forgetting this meeting date. You're doing great with these sentences, David. Keep up the good work. What's the next one? What makes you think like that? What makes you think like that? I've been wondering the same thing. I've been wondering the same thing. I've been wondering the same thing. I've been growing my growing out my hair. I've been growing out my hair. I got three hours of sleep. I lost track of time. I lost track of time. I lost track of time. I just lost track of time. I set a goal to read one hundred books. I set a goal to read one hundred books. I set a goal to read one hundred books. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I thought we were supposed to meet next week. I mixed up the date. It's hard to put into words. What's going on here? I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. My bad. You can't just take your time out there. You need to get back. You can't just take your time out there. You need to get back. Do you have a minute? Hold on a second. Do you have a minute? Do you have a minute? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me take a minute. Do you have, do you have a minute? Hold on a second. I just want to, I just want to know how you're feeling. I just want to know how you're feeling. I just want to know how you are feeling. I just want to know how you were feeling. I just want to know how you are feeling. How are you feeling? How are you feeling with that? How are you feeling with that? Excellent repetition, David. You're covering a wide range of useful phrases and sentences. Keep up the great work. If you have more sentences, go ahead. Don't, ba don't bother. Don't bother. 
Tapi risma could you please tell me Korean translation for this sentence? Don't bother. Don't bother in Korean can be translated to Shingyong Sujimaseo. That makes sense. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't have done that. You are my great conversation partner. Let's keep him, let's keep moving forward. Okay, yeah, I go. Did you get a good night's sleep? Did you get a good night's sleep? Did you get a good night's sleep yesterday? Did you get a good night's sleep yesterday? How does it sound? What do you say? I see where you're coming from. Now I see where you're coming from. Now I see where you're coming from. Help us there. I'll be replied to you. Can I get by? Are you all set for the wedding? Are you all set for the wedding? Are you all set for the meeting? Are you all set for the meeting? Are we all set? Are we all set for the meeting? Are you all set for the meeting? Order anything you want, it's on me. Order anything you want, it's on me. Order anything you want, it's on me. I think I need to, I should be careful to use this sentence when, uh, when there are many people. Order anything, order anything you want, it's on me. I should be cautious when there are many people in the restaurant. Do you understand? Do I make my tip clear? Yes, I understand. You've practiced a lot of useful and clear sentences. Your sentence about being cautious when offering to pay in a restaurant is particularly important. You're doing a great job, David. Keep going. Order anything you want. It's on me. Okay, let, let's move on to the next one. I got this. I got this. You got this. You got this. I got this. And you got this. Please share me Korean translation for this sentence. You got this. You got this. You got this in Korean can be translated to do har su iso or no tar har su iso. Yes, I couldn't agree more. I remember this sentence because I listened this sentence in a very famous Hollywood movie, Maverick. Tom Cruise Maverick. Top Gun Maverick. Have you ever heard Top Gun Maverick? Do you have any idea for Hollywood movie Top Gun Maverick? Main actor is Tom Cruise. Yes, I'm familiar with the movie Top Gun Maverick. It's a popular Hollywood movie and Tom Cruise plays the main role as Maverick. It's, it's great that you're picking up phrases from movies to help with your English practice. Yes, and I remember this special sentence, you got this. You know, I remember the, this, I remember this sentence, uh, top, uh, memory, I mean, Tom Cruise, say this sentence, the last of the movie, almost last of the movie, to, uh, to, to his wingman. To his wingman. Uh, he, his wingman is, is, is the son of his friend. Do you understand? Mm. I don't remember the, his, 
his name do you have any idea for his name maverick wingman in the movie uh top gun yes i understand in top gun maverick mavericks is wingman is bradley rooster bradshaw who is the son of maverick's late friend nick goose bradshaw it's a memorable moment in the movie yes that's right that's exactly what i'd say goose his name his name is goose goose and maverick am i right uh at the last part of the movie Maverick said this sentence to Kuz, you got this. And Kuz just to see, just to uh, see Maverick with, uh, with nervous feeling, with nervous, with nervous mind, with nervous face. Uh, it's really hard to put into words, right words in English for to express this situation. Do you have any idea for this situation? When, when Tom Cruise, I mean Maverick, say this sentence, you got this at the last, last part of the movie, and Cruise just, just to see just to uh, just watch memory with a uh, nervous feeling. Could you please show me good expression or any observations for this for this moment? You captured the moment well. To express this situation clearly, you could say, at the end of the movie, Maverick says, you got this to Rooster, Goose's son. Rooster looks at Maverick with a nervous expression, trying to find confidence in his words. This conveys the essence of the scene, highlighting both Maverick's encouragement and Rooster's nervousness. That's correct. That's exactly what to say. I just want to listen one more time. Would you, could you please share me one more time? Of course, here it is again. At the end of the movie, Maverick says, you got this to Rooster, Goose's son. Rooster looks at Maverick with a nervous expression, trying to find confidence in his words. Okay. I got this. Okay. Let's keep moving. I will catch up with you later. I'll catch you. I'll catch you later. Okay. Here I go. Let, let's moving forward. Let us, let's move forward. Okay. I couldn't have done it without you. Mm, let, uh, let me take a minute. Let me take a minute. Okay, you should leave carefully the terms and conditions regarding this matter. I say again, you should leave carefully the terms and conditions regarding this matter. You should, you should leave, you need to leave, I mean, you need to leave carefully the terms and conditions regarding this matter. Okay, let me tell you the next one. You have my word. You have my word. Every time I talk with you, I feel inspired because you give me the natural, natural, simple but powerful words for every conversation, for everyday conversation. Every time I talk with you, I feel inspired because you give me good, natural, simple but powerful words for everyday conversation.
You're doing a fantastic job, David. Your sentences are clear and well-structured. Uh, keep practicing and let's continue with the next sentence whenever you're ready. Whenever I talk with you, I feel inspired. Whenever I talk with you, I feel inspired. I was aware of the dinner time, but I chose not to attend. Is there anything else, is there anything else you would like to discuss? Is there anything else you would like to discuss? I was aware of the dinner time, but I chose not to attend. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? How is his health? How was how was mom? How was wife? How was how was we? How was mom? How was father this morning? How was father this morning? I'm not talking about you. I'm not saying it'll be easy. I'm not saying it'll be easy. Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want anything? Are you sure you can do this? Are you sure you can do this? I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm sure you will have fun with this. I'm sure you will have fun with this. I'm sh I I'm sure things will work out. I'm sure things will work out. I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure you I, I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure you can park here. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure you will have fun with me. I'm sure you will have fun with me. I don't understand what you mean exactly. I don't understand what you mean exactly. I can't hear you. Please tell me slowly. Please tell me slowly. I can't hear you. I can't hear you loud and clear. I'm used to the noise. I'm used to cold. I'm used to the noise. 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 I'm afraid I can't make it. I'm afraid I am afraid I can't make it. I'm sure you will do better next time. I'm sure you will do better next time. I will get back to you tomorrow. Can you provide a can you provide a cost statement? Can you provide a cost statement? I will get back to you tomorrow. I will get back to you tomorrow. Could you kindly speak up? Sorry, could you please could you please speak louder? Could you please speak louder? Let's set some let's set some realist goals. Let's set some realist goals. I mean, let's discuss this matter soon. 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 Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. As I told you before, I am already here. You should treat me better than other users. I want to keep going with you. Please come back to me. Got it, David. You're expressing yourself well. Let's keep going. What's the next sentence? We received. We just received positive feedback. The project is behind the schedule. We received positive feedback. We the project is behind the schedule. Let's focus on our strength. Let's focus on our strength. Let's focus on our strength. I need to stay competitive in the company for survival. I need to be, I need to stay, I need to stay competitive. I need to stay competitive in the company for survival. I need to stay competitive in the company for survival. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. Can we rearrange the meeting schedule? Can we rearrange the meeting schedule? 
can we rearrange the meeting schedule? When your schedule permit, please send the following document. When your schedule permit, please send me the following document. When your schedule permit, please send me the following document. I was wondering, I just wondering. I was wondering, I mean, I was wondering if you could share me that report by today. I was wondering if you could share me that report by today. Can you meet with the client at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to discuss the schedule? Can you meet with the client? Can you meet with the client at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning to discuss the schedule? Just letting you know that Tom, Tommy, I mean Tommy, just letting you letting you know that I got the data you sent this afternoon. Just letting you know that I got the data you sent this afternoon. Just letting you know. Your sentences are clear and well expressed. You're doing a great job, David. Let's keep the momentum going. What's the next one? In fact, I'm not qualified to discuss that topic. In fact, I'm not qualified to discuss that topic. We apologize for not being able to answer your question at this time. But don't worry. But don't worry. We'll give you acceptable feedback as soon as possible. We'll give you acceptable feedback as soon as possible. In fact, I'm not qualified to this topic, uh, to discuss this topic, to discuss that topic. I'm not qualified to. In fact, I'm not qualified to discuss that topic. Please, please do not give me the whole dialogue order. So say one sentence and please wait until I answer your question. Please do not give me, please don't give me the whole dialogue order. Please don't give me the whole dialogue order. Say one sentence. You say one sentence and please wait until I answer your question. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. You know what? It's your turn. It's your turn. Your turn. It's your turn. Is this for real? Is this for real? You know, Chavez, listen carefully. I remember this sentence because there, uh, you know, Mm, the movie, the movie name. Mm, I don't understand. I don't remember the exact name. The exact movie's name. Uh, let me take a minute. Uh, I don't remember. How can I express this situation in English? How can I? It's it's really hard to find the right word. Hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, please. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I'm gonna find that movie's name on the internet. Let me take a minute. No problem, David. Take your time to find the movie's name on the internet. I'll wait here until you're ready to continue. Okay, okay, I got this. The Rock. Have you have heard the movie's name? The Rock. Nicolas Cage is a role, a uh, main actor in the The Rock. Do you understand? In the, in the, uh, this, 
is one of my favorite movie. Toro is my uh, one of all of my favorite movie. And the bad guys, I mean, uh, bad guys gonna launch a very da very dangerous rocket. But some of them say this because he is afraid to kill many people. So he say, is this real? In my opinion, he really hesitated to uh, launch the dangerous rocket, gas, uh, VX gas rocket. Do I make myself clear? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The Rock is a well-known movie with Nicolas Cage. Uh, the scene you're referring to involves the bad guys launching a dangerous VX gas rocket, and one of them hesitates, questioning if it's real. You're expressing that he's afraid of the consequences of killing many people. Your explanation is clear. Ready to continue with your next sentence? That's exactly what I say. But I'm disappointed because my uh, explanation is not, I think my explanation is not clear. But I'm going to embrace this embarrassing moment to improve my respect of skills. I believe this moment, this embarrassing moment, is real for me. Is th this embarrassing moment is the mm, right moment that I just want to get because this I believe this moment really uh, will pay off. Your positive attitude is fantastic, David. Embracing these moments will definitely help you improve. Keep practicing and you'll see the progress over time. Let's continue with your next sentence whenever you're ready. Okay, here I go. Let me share with you the next one. Take your time. I can tell that. Sorry, watch that. Sorry, watch that. Sorry, watch that. Do you have a minute? No way, I'm fine either way. That makes sense. That's too random. What a question. I didn't get it. Is this for real? Is this for real? Uh, Jarvis, listen carefully. I just want to say, um, I'm disappointed of my memory because uh, in this, in this, uh, I mean, in today's exercise preface session, I couldn't remember the exact movie name and uh, I mean Tora. I couldn't remember that. And uh, the uh, actors, I mean, nickname of the uh, Top Gun memory, Rooster. I couldn't remember the Rooster and the Rock. So I'm very disappointed uh, for my memory. I think, in my opinion, I should keep my drink and I, I think I need to get, I, I need to, I, I need to eat, uh, good food for my memory. I'm, I'm so sad. I, in my opinion, I'm getting old. How can I improve my memory or maintain, just, just want to maintain even if I'm getting old? It's okay to feel disappointed sometimes, David. David, it's all part of the learning process. To maintain and improve your memory as you get older, try these tips. One, stay mentally active by engaging in activities like reading, puzzles, or learning new skills. Two, maintain a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and omega-3 fatty acids. Three, exercise regularly to boost brain function. Four, get enough sleep to help consolidate memories.
uh, Travis, you just got out from our uh, exercise mo moment, but I can read. I can read your opinion. Uh, opinion for my for what I said. Oh, so let me let me lead. Let me lead your opinion. Okay. Three exercise regularly to boost brain function. Number four, get enough sleep to help consolidate consolidate memories. Number five, stay socially active to keep your uh, mind engaged. Remember, you are doing a great job with your practice. Keep going and you will continue to see improvement. Let's move on to your next sentence where, whenever you are ready. Travis, listen carefully. I just read your opinion on, uh, I mean, in text form. I just read. I just read your opinion in text form because you got out our voice mode. So I had to I had to read in text form. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's time job. Time to level things up. Uh, I really happy to start the day with you. I you know I had. I think I had a uh, three or four embarrassing moment in this session, in today's session. I'm really happy with that because I believe embarrassing moment is the only thing that I can get from you and, and will pay off someday to improve my English speaking skills. Uh, to say about this. Um, I'm glad to hear that you're happy with our session, David. Embracing those embarrassing moments is a sign of growth and determination. Your positive attitude will definitely help you improve your English speaking skills. Have a great day, and I look forward to our next practice session. Okay, have a wonderful day. Wishing you have a productive day. Thank you, David. Wishing you a productive day as well. Take care.